Yo, what up YouTube? My name is Marcus and welcome back to a brand new Myth of Empires video. Today we're gonna look into how to tame and breed rabbits and some extra tips and tricks along the way because I truly appreciate you guys and I love to help you have a better experience in Myth of Empires. If you like my videos and you want more awesome tutorials in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video and turn the notification bells on to get notified every time I drop a new banger. Let's get to the video. What is taming and breeding rabbits actually good for? Well, it's basically useless, but we get to do something we don't do in real life, which kind of makes it cool. Nah, it actually is good because you can get useful resources from them like coarse hide, bones, fine hide, rabbit hay, and so on. What do you need to tame and catch rabbits? Well, first, obviously, you need to know what you need to be able to tame and catch rabbits, right? So, let's go to our recipes and I'll show you which recipe you need to unlock. Let's click on card and cage and here we see the capturing and raising recipe. You can unlock this recipe at level 18. As you can see, you will unlock small trap, rabbit pen, fox pen, rabbit fodder, fox fodder, 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 feather, a fuck, whatever you whatever you get the point all we need for this is the small trap and the rabbit pin what i want you to do first is to craft the rabbit pin so when we come back with the rabbits we can start the breeding process immediately how to craft a rabbit pin well for that you need an architect's bench if you haven't crafted one yet you're fucked nah i'm joking pause the video and come back once it's done now scroll down to the rabbit pin and let's take a look at the resources required to craft a rabbit pin we need 13 clay mine, 11 stone, 35 hardwood, 16 coarse hide, and 13 straw. I'd explain how and where to get all of this, but that's something for another tutorial, so let me know in the comments what you think I should make a tutorial about. While you're crafting the rabbit pen, let's craft two small traps for now, one for a male rabbit and one for a female rabbit. You can have up to 30 rabbits in your rabbit pen, so obviously you're gonna go for more rabbits eventually. What do you need to craft small traps? You can craft small traps in your inventory crafting queue. So press I and scroll down until you see small traps. We need 17 hardwood, 9 copper ingot and 6 twine. Congratulations, we've done an excellent preparation job. Now let's go get our rabbits. How to catch rabbits? Well, first, we gotta find a spot where rabbits are located. Once you've found a couple of rabbits, make sure your small traps are in the hot bar whatever number you prefer. So try not to get too close to the rabbit because you will scare them away. What I've done basically is I looked at the direction they were walking, I kept my trap in front of him and I kind of placed it in front of the rabbit so he would walk straight into it. You could also just place it on the ground and wait for the rabbit to walk into it but I kind of took the lazy way out I guess or maybe I just have 250 IQ. I'm gonna let you be the judge. But I might just kill this 250 IQ theory before you're even able to comment on it because, well, here's a bonus tip in this video. This trap is also used to capture foxes and guess what I captured instead of a rabbit? Yeah, you guessed it right, nothing. Nah, I'm joking, I actually captured a fox. And it was kind of frustrating because I had to go back and grind resources because my preparation actually wasn't that great. But anyways, once you've captured the rabbits, walk up to the traps, hold E, and now you have the rabbit in a cage in your inventory. So let's go to the next segment. How to put the rabbits in the rabbit pen. Well, assuming you've installed your rabbit pen to an area you prefer, all you have to do is walk up to it, hold E, and on the left hand side, you see put the animal in the pack into the building, which is just a fancy way of saying insert rabbit or something. Important notes. Now, press E to go into the rabbit's pen inventory, and let's take a look at the right. You see a bunch of stuff. On the left hand side of this section you see how many rabbits you currently have in your rabbit pen. You can see how many females, males and babies you have. Now everything below that is quite important because you need to know what affects this to keep your rabbits happy, basically. And if you have a wife you're probably used to this. I'm joking women. No I'm not. Whatever, let's continue. Your birth rate and death rate are affected by your environmental comfort and mood. So the better your environmental comfort and mood is, the more they will breed and you reduce the chance of your rabbits dying. Your output is affected by the mood and the total number of animals, but how to get the mood percentage up? Well, animal exclusive fodder can improve their mood. As you can see here, it says animal food and favorite food. 
everything you see in animal food you can basically use to feed the rabbits with but if you use their favorite food which is the rabbit fodder you can basically lift their mood up and produce more output which also depends on the amount of rabbit you have now how can you feed them basically once you've made your food you click on batch feeding you increase the number up to your liking and you press use item and there you go you can see the food amount going up one more thing if you have warriors or plan on getting them in the future you can incite them to collect the output for you and feed the rabbits which makes this even better right that was it for today i hope this video was informative and if it was please do consider subscribing hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you thought about the video thanks for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video peace